Hi, I'm Matt Stamey, Chief Photographer of the Homa Courier in Homa, Louisiana. Homa is located about an hour south of New Orleans in Terrebonne Parish. And as a photographer for the Homa Courier, I didn't go into New Orleans. I stayed in Terrebonne Parish, so I didn't see the Superdome, I didn't see the Convention Center, I didn't see the floodwaters inside the city. I covered the evacuees that fled New Orleans and ended up in Homa. And during the evacuation process after the storm, many of the evacuees were separated from the family. Maybe they got on a bus that they thought was going to Houston, but it took them to Homa. Maybe they got on a bus that they thought was going to Baton Rouge, but they ended up in Houston. And with a lack of communications, because all the cell phone services weren't working, you couldn't get in contact with your family. And from the first moment that New Orleans evacuees arrived in Homa, I saw that this was a problem. And it weighed heavy on my heart. It hurt to see these people not knowing where their family was. Some of them didn't know if they were, their family was still alive. They could have drowned. Did they get out of New Orleans? They didn't know. And I wanted to help. So I grabbed a white backdrop, some lights, and my camera, and I went to one of the shelters, and I set up a little portrait studio. And I took individual portraits of these evacuees who were missing family. And I posted these images on multiple websites in hopes of someone seeing these pictures and being able to be, be reunited with their family. I don't know if any of my photos actually helped reunite people, but I do know it gave them hope. A couple days after doing starting this project, I was back in the shelter shooting more portraits and, and a lady came and gave me a huge bear hug and thanked me. And I immediately thought that she found some of her family. But she told me she hadn't found her family yet, but because of my picture, it gave her hope that she could find family. I photographed a young woman by the name of Alicia. She was 17 years old and living in a recreation center with the rest of her family. She hadn't lost any of her family, but they had lost all of their house and everything they owned. And a church in Kalamazoo, Michigan saw my picture and their hearts went out to her and her family. And they raised the money to build her a house, her and her family a home, and move them to Kalamazoo, Michigan. And I found out a few months later that she graduated from Kalamazoo High School. Journalism and photography is powerful. It can influence, it can create change, and it can help others.